A new rivalry is unfolding in the skies above the Indo-Pacific, a high-stakes contest between the United States and China. At the center, the American B-21 Raider, a stealth bomber designed to be undetectable, and China's new hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles which claim to neutralize stealth. These technologies represent more than hardware, they're symbols of a broader struggle for influence, technological supremacy, and regional dominance. The question, can the B-21 remain invisible against China's hypersonic threat, or will these new missiles force a complete rethink of aerial warfare? This is the new great game, played in the vast, unforgiving expanse of the sky. China's hypersonic air-to-air -air missiles could redefine aerial combat. Capable of speeds up to Mach 6 and ranges up to 1,000 kilometers, these missiles drastically reduce reaction time for any target, including the B-21. Their advanced guidance systems with embedded micro-radars are designed to track and destroy stealth aircraft. Highly maneuverable and able to switch targets mid-flight, they create a formidable defensive bubble. If operational, these missiles could neutralize America's premier bombers before they reach their targets. The ability to project power deep into enemy territory, once a U.S. advantage, could be severely compromised. China's hypersonic missile is designed to be a true stealth killer. The B-21 Raider is America's answer to modern threats. A next-generation stealth bomber that represents the cutting edge of military aviation. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the B-21 is the result of years of secretive research and development, designed to ensure the United States maintains air superiority in an era of rapidly evolving global threats. Its unveiling marks a pivotal moment in the history of strategic deterrence, signaling to both allies and adversaries that the U.S. is committed to staying ahead of the curve. Built for deep penetration into hostile airspace, the B-21 is engineered to operate where other aircraft simply cannot go. Its advanced stealth capabilities allow it to slip past even the most sophisticated enemy defenses, reaching targets that would otherwise be out of reach. Whether flying over deserts, mountains, or heavily fortified regions, the Raider is designed to deliver its payload with precision and minimal risk of detection. Its flying wing design and radar absorbent materials make it nearly invisible to enemy sensors. The B-21's unique shape scatters radar waves, while its special coatings absorb them, making it a true ghost in the sky. This low observability is crucial for surviving in contested environments, where detection can mean the difference between mission success and failure. But the B-21 is more than just a bomber. Beyond its primary mission, it's a multifunctional platform, capable of intelligence gathering, surveillance, and real-time battlefield coordination. Outfitted with state-of-the-art sensors and communication systems, it can relay critical information to commanders and allied forces, acting as a force multiplier in complex operations. The U.S. plans to field at least 100 B-21S, making it a cornerstone of American power projection for decades to come. This fleet will form the backbone of the Air Force's long-range strike capability, ensuring the U.S. can respond to crises anywhere in the world at a moment's notice. The Raider is designed to break through advanced air defenses including integrated missile systems and cutting-edge radar networks. Its ability to evade detection and neutralize high-value targets ensures that no adversary can feel secure, no matter how heavily defended their territory may be. At $700 million per aircraft, the B-21 represents a massive investment in future deterrence and technological superiority. Each bomber is a testament to American innovation, combining advanced materials, software, and manufacturing techniques to create a weapon unlike any other. The B-21's success is critical to maintaining U.S. strategic advantage. Military leaders and policymakers see it as a vital tool for deterring aggression and reassuring allies ensuring that the U.S. remains a dominant force in the skies. In the end, the B-21 Raider is more than just a machine, it's a technological ghost, haunting the nightmares of America's rivals and silently shaping the future of global security. Chinese researchers have run war game simulations pitting their hypersonic missiles against the B-21 Raider. The results? Chinese stealth fighters and drones using networked sensors detect and destroy B-21S before they reach their targets. Hypersonic missiles, launched from extreme ranges, close in at Mach 6, leaving the subsonic B-21 little chance to evade. The simulations suggest that speed, range, and advanced guidance could neutralize the B-21's stealth advantage. 
these digital war games offer a glimpse into a future where brute force speed challenges the subtlety of stealth. For US planners, it's a stark reminder, no technological edge lasts forever. The race for air superiority is entering a new, more dynamic phase. While Chinese simulations are eye-opening, real combat is far messier and unpredictable. Simulations rely on assumptions. The chaos of war, human error, equipment failure, weather, can't be fully modeled. In reality, a B-21 mission would involve electronic warfare, escorts, and cyber attacks, layers of complexity hard to simulate. Chinese claims are also part of information warfare, often exaggerating capabilities to sow doubt. The true performance of hypersonic missiles against stealth bombers remains unproven in real-world conditions. The U.S. has decades of operational experience with stealth, successfully evading advanced defenses. Simulations are useful, but they're not a crystal ball. The real test will come only in actual conflict. The B-21 versus hypersonic missile rivalry is just one front in a broader U.S.-China contest for global leadership. Economic tensions, trade wars, and the unresolved status of Taiwan fuel the rivalry. The Taiwan Strait is a flashpoint, with both sides preparing for potential conflict. In the South China Sea, military posturing and risky encounters are on the rise. Each new weapon system is a move in a global chess match, raising the stakes for both nations. For the US, the B-21 is about power projection and alliance commitments. For China, hypersonic missiles are about challenging US dominance and securing its sphere of influence. The B-21 faces the classic battleship problem, could it be obsolete before it's fully deployed? Rapid advances in sensors, AI, and hypersonic weapons threaten the idea of a single invisible platform. The B-21's subsonic speed means if detected it can't outrun hypersonic threats, its main defense is stealth, if that fails, survival chances drop sharply. Vulnerabilities extend to the ground. U.S. bases in the Pacific lack enough hardened shelters, making B-21S targets for preemptive strikes. Protecting the B-21 will require more than just advanced design, it needs a comprehensive strategy for survival. The arms race is as much about adaptation as innovation. The B-21's future depends on staying ahead of evolving threats. The B-21 versus Hypersonic Missile Contest is the latest round in a relentless race for air dominance. This competition isn't just about who has the most advanced aircraft or the fastest missiles, it's about who can adapt and innovate the quickest. The stakes are incredibly high as air superiority can determine the outcome of conflicts and shape global power dynamics. U.S. stealth technology has long provided an edge, but adversaries are catching up with asymmetric strategies. Stealth bombers like the B-2 Spirit and the upcoming B-21 Raider have been game-changers, but nations like China are developing their own advanced aircraft, such as the J-20 fighter jet, and investing heavily in radar and detection systems to counteract U.S. advantages. China's focus on hypersonic missiles is about changing the rules, not matching U.S. bombers. Hypersonic missiles can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them incredibly difficult to intercept. This new technology could potentially render traditional air defenses obsolete, forcing a shift in military strategies and priorities. Both sides are accelerating development, fifth-generation fighters, next-gen missiles, AI, and networked warfare. The integration of artificial intelligence in military command centers and the development of networked combat operations are transforming how wars are fought. These advancements aim to create a more responsive and adaptive military force capable of making real-time decisions on the battlefield. If China's hypersonic threat becomes real, U.S. air power could be pushed further from the region, complicating intervention in crises like Taiwan. The strategic importance of the Taiwan Strait and the broader Asia-Pacific region cannot be overstated. Control over these areas is crucial for maintaining regional stability and ensuring the free flow of trade and resources. The race is about more than hardware, it's about controlling the strategic geography of the Indo-Pacific. Dominance in this region involves not just superior technology but also strategic positioning and alliances. The ability to project power and influence across the Indo-Pacific is a key factor in maintaining global security. Each side seeks even the slightest edge, knowing it could decide the outcome of future conflicts. Military leaders are constantly analyzing and updating their strategies, looking for any advantage that could tip the scales in their favor. 
This includes everything from technological innovations to tactical maneuvers and strategic alliances. Air dominance is fleeting. Only constant innovation keeps it alive. The rapid pace of technological advancement means that today's cutting-edge technology can quickly become outdated. Continuous research, development, and testing are essential to maintaining a competitive edge in the ever-evolving landscape of air warfare. The duel between the B-21 Raider and China's hypersonic ambitions is more than just a contest of machines. It's a high-stakes struggle that leaves the future of air combat shrouded in uncertainty. As both sides push the boundaries of technology, the skies have become a chessboard where every move could tip the balance of power. The B-21 is the culmination of decades of American stealth expertise, designed to slip past the world's most advanced defenses. Yet China's hypersonic missiles like the DF-17 represent a new breed of threat, one that travels at blistering speeds and can potentially outmaneuver traditional countermeasures. This evolving rivalry is forcing both nations to rethink their strategies and invest in next-generation technologies. At its core, this is a contest between hiding and finding, between the art of remaining invisible and the science of detection. Stealth and speed are locked in a relentless race, each innovation prompting a counter-innovation, each breakthrough met with a new challenge. But the outcome of this duel won't be decided by a single encounter in the sky. It will hinge on the quality of pilot training, the sophistication of electronic warfare, the integration of artificial intelligence, and the unpredictable nature of real-world conflict. The human element, decision-making under pressure, remains as crucial as ever. Chinese military simulations may project confidence and even predict success, but history shows that real-world battles are far more complex and chaotic than any computer model can anticipate. The fog of war, unexpected variables, and the resilience of adversaries often rewrite the script. The B-21 will likely remain a potent platform for years to come, a symbol of American innovation and resolve. However, the era of uncontested U.S. air superiority is fading, as rivals close the technological gap and new threats emerge on the horizon. The cat-and-mouse game between offense and defense is only set to intensify. Each side will continue to probe for weaknesses, develop new tactics, and adapt to the ever-changing dynamics of aerial warfare. Whether the B-21 can stay ahead of the hypersonic threat remains the defining question of this new era, a question that will shape the future of global security and determine who truly commands the skies.